Hello, I'm Elif and this is a recap for episode 34 of the series One Love, 24 hours after Turkey and before dubbed for TV. Doa enters the Onal family mansion, with Mustafa being the only one left in front of Kivuljim. He reassures her, ensuring that Fateh's angry words won't prevent her from seeing their daughter. On the other side, Doa dismisses Fateh and Panbe from Jemre's room, saying, I'm back. What do you want from me now? Let me and my daughter be alone. Mustafa scolds Fate for his actions with Kivuljim. Fate, in frustration, retorts, everything I did was for the sake of our family. Ruzgar asks Olev why she is looking for him. Olev explains that she pretended to be Ruzgar's husband's girlfriend to reduce his evil intentions, for this, they must act for a while. Ruzgar readily agrees, finding the situation intriguing. Meanwhile, Omid tells Nusama that he has decided to work in her father's company and doesn't want their lives to fall apart due to his late-night work. Nusama is pleased with this decision. Kivuljim asks Omar to visit her and tearfully explains everything to him. Omar urges her to stay calm and mentions that they need to confront and hold him accountable now that Fateh has gone too far. Omar immediately goes to see Doa and reassures her that her mother is doing well. He tells Doa that no one in that house will upset her, and things will get better. He assures her that he is always by her side. At the first opportunity, Doa calls her mother and asks her not to worry. Kivildjim says, don't think about these things at all. Reach out to your daughter. Doa replies, no one can keep me away from you. Kivildjim acknowledges, it's obvious that they can't. But for now, let some time pass. She suggests they find another way to solve their problems. When Kahan hears that Doa has returned to the Onal family mansion, he becomes happy and says, our plan is back on track. Omid goes to see Olev and informs her about his decision to work in the Onal family company. He assures her that his collaboration with her will not be severed. He then calls Abdullah and tells him he will join the company starting from tomorrow. Doa entrusts Jemre to the maid and goes to her former room to take a shower with Fateh. When she sees the room, she breaks down in tears. When Doa comes out of the bathroom, she sees Fateh and gets angry. Fateh asks her to come there with Jemre to be comfortable, but Doa shouts, I can't stay here. Fateh, with teary eyes, says, I love you so much. Doa shouts and asks him to be quiet, saying, You can't love anyone but yourself. Mustafa sees Fate crying behind the door, and Fate says, Are you happy now? Mustafa replies, The difference between you and me is that I always consider you my brother. Your state upsets me too. Fate says, Everyone left me alone. Don't leave me. I'm trying to make it right. Forgive me. Mustafa, crying, says, You have to apologize to many, Fate. I don't matter. I just understand a bit late. Fateh cries with remorse for the words he said to Mustafa. When Doa returns to Jemre's room and sees Panba there, she asks her to leave. Fateh spends the whole night lying on the ground under Doa and Jemre's feet, staring at them with regret. In the morning, Doa gets angry when she sees Fateh and asks him to leave them alone. When Panba realizes that Doa is bringing Jemre down, she gives orders to enforce health regulations. Doa tells her that she doesn't want her daughter to grow up in confinement and prefers her body to get used to microbes. She confronts Panba, saying, I plan to do the opposite of what you did in raising your children because the results haven't been very good. Everyone looks at Doa in surprise. Kivildjim goes to see the new school principal, and when she hears his opinions about the length of girls' uniform skirts and their sports attire, she gets very angry. The man says, aren't you Omar Onal's wife? I thought we understood each other's words well. Kivildim replies, I only serve the Ministry of Education. Their argument escalates, and Kivildim resigns. Fateh goes to his father Abdullah in distress and complains about Doa's behavior. He says, I didn't do anything wrong. Abdullah responds, the mistake you're talking about is a betrayal. If Doa did something like this. Fateh interrupts him and says, Dad, what are you saying? Abdullah continues, look how angry you've become. Use this anger to understand your wife's situation. Olev goes to see Doa and immediately hands over the account book to Panbeh, making it clear that they cannot cut off Doa's relationship with her family. 
Fate goes to see Omar and apologizes to him. Omar says, do whatever you want and then say you regret it. Fate says, I did everything because of loving my wife and child. I was stuck. Help me, uncle. Omar asks Fate to calm down and correct his behavior. Laman goes to Jemre's room to talk to Doa and says, women have to endure. Men do these things. It's in their nature. Doa, angrily, replies, I don't normalize betrayal like you. Women like you sacrifice everything to maintain their status. I won't do that. Omid organizes a dinner party in Mustafa's dining room as an excuse to thank Abdullah. Alev and Ruzgar enter hand in hand, and Alev introduces Ruzgar to Abdullah. Ruzgar mentions that their wedding is approaching. They join the Onal family, and Ruzgar suggests that Abdullah be their guest of honor, but Abdullah, not impressed by Ruzgar, declines. Ruzgar's girlfriend keeps an eye on him. Kiviljim and Omar have dinner together. Omar urges Kiviljim to start their life together, but she asks him to be more patient. Omar asks, do you think we have so much time? Kiviljim becomes upset and asks him to refrain from making such remarks. Meanwhile, Omar starts coughing while drinking water, worrying Kiviljim. After dinner, Ruzgar tells Olev, I don't think the woman is interested in you. You're after her husband. Olev remains unfazed by the comment. Late at night, Ibrahim half-heartedly expresses his affection for Mary over the phone, and Mary, who is genuinely in love with him, gets excited. Doa is sleeping next to Jemre when Fate comes and picks her up, placing her on the bed. He also lays Jemre beside them and then lies down next to them. In the morning, when Doa sees their situation, she scolds Fate and asks him not to do this anymore. When Panda wakes up in the morning, she finds another woman in the kitchen instead of their maid. The woman, named Sunbol, says, Sister Hoyot's mother is sick. She asked me to come. She wanted me to be here. Panbeh recalls Sonbol's proximity to Mustafa's wedding to ensure there were no problems on the wedding night. Panbeh, concerned, says to Sonbol, this is not good at all. Mustafa also comes downstairs and looks surprised to see Sonbol. Omar goes to the doctor with despair and explains his recent issues. The doctor tells Omar he shouldn't lose hope, but nothing is definite. However, unable to live with this fear, Omar makes a decision. He goes to Kiviljim's house at night with a bag and says, Now that you can't come, I came to you. Kiviljim kisses Omar and welcomes him. Omid starts his first day at work in the company. Abdullah, who still doesn't know what role to assign him, asks his assistant to orient him. In the evening, the Onal family goes to Urtrul's house upon his invitation. Nusama and Omid, who were invited at the last moment, realize they are his guests. Urtrul is surprised to see them, and they explain the story of their acquaintance. Urtrul praises Nusama's art. Later, Urtrul mentions that his daughter has also invited her fiancé. Ibrahim and his family arrive, and everyone is shocked to see them. Nusama looks at Ibrahim and spills her drink. Thank you for watching, stay tuned for the next episode.